Hey Filmmaker Chung here. In this video, we're going to show you how to do a seamless split transition. This is an add-on onto your seamless transition pack. If you haven't got it yet, go into the link in the description below and purchase it. It's a quite affordable transition pack, but you get tons and tons of transitions with it. And today we're going to even expand it more, showing you a new tutorial how to add a something on top to make it more interesting. Also make sure you check out my render heavy effects video because this is quite a heavy effect because we're going to use multiple layers of seamless transitions. It's going to be quite heavy for some computers. And also if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button here below. So let's start doing this tutorial. So we have here two clips and we're going to add a seamless transition to it. So we're going to go to the middle of the clip, hold down shift arrow down and now hold down shift arrow to the left three times to go to 15 frames and now command K to cut this clip and do the same actually on the other side three times and also cut it command K and now we're going to nest them the reason for that uh, is to make sure we're not going to get some nasty things happening because sometimes the seamless transition doesn't work properly if your clip is different than your timeline, different resolutions or different frame rates. So we want to nest them first to make sure it's going to work properly. We're going to duplicate them. We're going to select both of them and hold down Alt and drag them up. And inside of the preset bin, we're going to seamless transition folder or my Shongda transition folder, seamless transitions, and we're going to switch pan. And we're going to do a simple left, right, and we're going to use the pan out and pan out left and pan out right first on the this side because this side is the outs and these two are the ins. And we're going to do left on the tops and the right on the bottoms. So the left out here and the left in on the other one and the right out here and the right in on here. So now right now we just see only this happening and we're going to actually select both top here and we're going to nest them one more time. Okay. This is just to make sure that no other weird effects going to happen and going to add a crop here. So now what we can do is something quite interesting is to add a split. So we're from top, we're going to crop it 50%. Now what we see and actually deselect here. So now we can see a cool split transition. So we see in the middle a split happening where we see the bottom go to the right and the top going to the left. So it's quite an interesting transition this way. But also instead of just splitting it straight in the middle, we can do a one third split. So from the top 33% and from the bottom 33%. Now we can see the middle here we have like a line. So this is also a quite interesting transition. So you can play around with the seamless transitions doing this effect and adding this crop on top. And also you don't need to do the left right transitions. You can also do the diagonal one and the up down and yeah tilt and also like try out with the spins and everything else. So this is an interesting way to add a extra layer to your seamless transition. So that was the seamless split transition. Hopefully you guys like this video and please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button here below and also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when I post a new video. See you guys the next time. Bye bye.